What's up YouTube? Scott Scotty Tradition back with another video. Uh, this is my 2022 uh, YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame video. And basically, I had three people get in last year out of my 10 person ballot. So um, I had seven on the ballot yet that didn't get in. So um, I will be voting for a lot of those people again this year because they've, you know, kept up with their content, kept making videos. It's not like anybody dropped off the face of the earth. So um, basically that opens up only about three spots for new people um, that I can vote for this year. Uh, rules are a little different this year. Um, check out Legends Never Die, uh, formerly the Ticket Leprechaun, Jake's channel. He's taking over the reins as commissioner this year. Um, have to be doing YouTube for at least one year to vote, which seems reasonable to me, and have to be on YouTube for at least three years making consistent sports card content, which also seems like very reasonable to me. Um, so um, I do think those are good rule changes. And let's just get into the ballot because I'm excited. I always love this time of year because I get to talk about great channels and um, it just it's like an injection of positivity into our community and into our hobby when we get to talk um, about the channels that we love and channels we think are deserving of the Hall of Fame. So let's start it off here. Um, my first channel is this guy, Bart's Cards, formerly Bart the PSA Card Guy. And basically he has 872 subscribers, 513 total videos. Now that is a lot of videos, over 500 videos. Um, and he's been doing this for eight years. so. Um, he's been doing it a while. He's not hes not a flash in the pan, somebody that's, that's just come up over the last year or two. Um, Bart has been consistently making videos for eight years. And um, I think I've been doing it about six years. So, you know, and it's very difficult to keep that consistency over time. But Bart has certainly done that. Um, I think he was at 721 subs last year when I voted for him. And he had 461 videos. So he's increased his videos and his subs from last year, which is all great. Um, his number one video um, is 80s PSA football, Cards on the Rise, which has about 1,800 views. Um, words I would use to describe Bart, 49ers collector, Jerry Rice super collector. He's smooth, he's steady, quality, diverse, and really um, is a true hobbyist. You know, he he's, he's not just in the game to make money, flip cards, whatever the case may be. Not that there's anything wrong with that necessarily, but um, the channels that I prefer to watch are true hobbyists, you know, that most align with my own views on, on the hobby, which is, you know, I'm a collector first, um, investor second. So Bart is all of those things and more, and you just look at his consistency for eight years. Um, to me, um, could have got in last year, the year before, wouldn't have been surprised one bit. So Bart, Bart's Cards is my first nominee, um, and that is a carryover from last year as well. Um, second on the list, Josh, Rated Rookie. Um, along with Bart, Josh, um, super good guy. Always watch the videos whenever I'm notified that they actually have a video on. Um, we have very similar collecting interests as well. A lot of the similar cards we collect. Um, he's at 1.58 thousand uh, subs, up a couple hundred from last year, and uh, 93 videos. Um, so basically, he's made about 20 new videos this year. Um, and again, that's something I look for when I vote for these people is the consistency of videos over a period of time. Um, now, Josh has been doing it a little less than Bart, about half the time. So he's about four years along with his YouTube channel. Um, but Josh makes really quality videos. Um, I love his top 50 sports cards videos, top 100 videos, that, that kind of thing. Um, his number one video is Mike, his Michael Jordan card collection, which has uh, 22,000 views. Um, so very popular video there. Um, words I'd use to describe Josh, smooth, great quality um, with his cards, intelligent, uh, great character, and subtle video quality. All His videos all look great. Um, he doesn't have bells and whistles necessarily where he's like super editing, uh, uh, but um, he just has a great presentation for when he does his videos and I really appreciate that. And did get to see Josh at the National this year as well and hang out for a little bit, so that was awesome. Number three on the list, New York Yanks fan seven. 
Um, again, a gentleman that could have probably got in any one of the last couple of years and nobody would have probably been surprised. Um, he has a little bit more subs than my last two uh, inductees. So 2.69 thousand subs. He's gained about four or 500 subs over this year alone. Um, 472 videos total. That's a lot of videos. That's kind of getting up there into BART territory in videos where you just have a lot of videos over a long period of time. And New York Yanks fan seven, um, Vince has been doing videos for eight years. So again, eight years is a long time to make consistent content on YouTube. It's very difficult. And if you look at his total view count, um, he, he's almost at half a million total views on his videos. And that that's a big number for uh, the niche community of sports cards. Um, and Vince, he's not just into sports cards. He does comics as well. So he does bring in another demographic into the count for his videos. Um, his number one video is Mickey Mantle baseball card collection, where he not surprisingly shows his Mickey Mantle baseball card collection. Um, he's consistent um, over a long period of time, like I just mentioned. Uh, very quality cards. He's got an amazing collection. Um, some of his videos where he's opening up his cases and boxes or high grade cards. We um, have a little bit of crossover in the types of things we collect, more quality over quantity kind of collectors. And so that's why I appreciate his channel. Um, great variety as well, all the sports, not just baseball. He delves into the other sports as well and comic books, as I mentioned before. Um, and, you know, a uh, great thing about Vince this year is he actually uh, shown his face on videos for the first time. Um, usually he had not done that. He'd been a little more anonymous, which is totally fine. Um, that's not necessarily a, a bad thing, but it does kind of make the viewers feel closer to you when you actually can kind of present yourself. Um, and I think he's done a great job of that. Um, love his sense of humor. Um, I, I'd say we have probably a similar dry sense of humor. Um, and I, he's done the videos with Silver Jackify uh, showcasing their collections and um, it's been kind of great to get to know Vince in more of that community way over this year as opposing years, and that's a big reason why he has my vote again this year. Um, number four, another very deserving channel, Dead Guy Cardboard. Ben met him for the first time at the National this year, so that was great. Um, he's got just over 3,000 subs. He's up a couple hundred from last year. Um, 133 videos, so he's made about... Uh, 20 25 videos this year alone so that's great more of that consistent kind of content which I talked about um, total views for his channel are 370,000 plus views so um, just like Vince um, his videos do get a lot of views and a big reason for that is he makes a lot of content that is actually intriguing and that people want to watch um, his number one video actually has 116,000 views and that's his. That's titled the top ten cards you're not supposed to have, um, where he talks about different releases of cards that came out that you're not supposed to have. And a really cool video. And that's not the only one. He's got a lot of videos, um, sort of along those same lines that a lot of people like to watch. Um, so yeah, um, he does collect quality cards. Um, a lot of like pre-war stuff, um, as well as some Cincinnati Reds stuff. Where he is a fan of the Reds and Barry Larkin. Um, intriguing video topics, as I mentioned and a subtle quality, um, kind of like Josh Rated Rookie. Um, you know, nothing over the top. He doesn't have, like, great production quality necessarily, but just his... It, you don't need great production quality to have a great YouTube channel. You just need a very simple, simplistic, clean setup um, and delivery, and he has that. And that's a big reason why Dead Guy Cardboard gets my vote again this year. Um, so that's number four. Number five on the list would be this guy... Diamond Yard Sports Cards, George. Great channel as well. Um, 912 subs. So he's gained about 300 this year, so that's really good for, for George. Um, 130 videos, so he's made almost 50 videos this year. So he's been really pumping them out the last year as well. Um, and I know he's done some of the like online talks on uh, Golden Age of Cardboard with uh, Mike Baseball Collector and um, some of the stuff he did with Don's Field of Dream Cards as well. So um, I think he's just a lot more community oriented this year uh, as opposed to the last couple years as well. So um, his name's kind of out there a little more. Um, he's been doing it for about four years. So sort of similar to Rated Rookie in the length of time. Uh, his number one video is PSA Sub Return, which he has about 5,300 views on. Um, and he does a lot of submitting to PSA and kind of going through his sub returns and 
the grading game and all that. And um, he does grade a great variety of cards, everything from baseball, basketball, wrestling, football. Uh, he's just a sports fan in general. And uh, again, I would say a true hobbyist, a true fan of sports and, and people's stories. Um, um, as far as George goes, <laughs> I said this last year as well, and others would probably agree. He has a great voice for this, like just talking about cards and um, I don't know what it is. Some people just have a better speaking voice when it comes to YouTube. And he is definitely at the top of the list as far as that goes. Um, great PC. Um, he loves his Arizona teams like the Suns um, and the Cardinals. Um, but also a great like, uh, Negro League type collection with Satchel Paige and Jackie Robinson and all these type players as well. So just a great watch overall. Great, great variety and great quality to his collection. So Diamond Yard Sports Cards. George is my number five. Uh, number six on the list, Vintage Cards Curator, Keith. Um, has over 4,000 subscribers. He's gained 1,000 over the last year. Again, these are all people I voted for last year. Um, 70 videos, up from 62 last year. So he's only made eight new videos, but like when he makes a video, there is like a ton of research and content within the video. And it's not even a long video. He can just jam a ton of content into like a three four minute video that he's worked really hard on for like a few weeks and that's that's vintage card curators channel in a nutshell it's just quality whenever he puts one out um his total views on his videos he's only made 70 videos but he's got 340,000 views on those videos so that's a lot of views for uh, a few videos um and he's one of the guys on this list that hasn't been making videos super long um he's he he does hit the three year threshold but um, definitely um, just super quality. If you're going to make this Hall of Fame list after only three years, it's because you do something special. And with Keith, he just has such great quality and such great information in his videos. He's hard to leave off this list for me. Um, his number one video is he talks about the rig system and the PSA uh, fraud scandal. Sorry, the PWCC fraud scandal at the time. 34,000 views. Um, and then things I'd use to describe Keith are... Um, just his research effort is second to none when he puts into a video um, intriguing topics and quality um, and also you know for being uh, a channel with high video quality content and a lot of views he, he's very responsive to all of his comments as well and so that's something that I look for as well he's not just an empty co code over there making videos so love that about Keith and he's number six on my list and now the last person from last year um, that I'm voting for again this year is Dane, Card Tech 710 um, Great channel. Um, again, about three years been doing this video, so he does just meet the threshold, but um, he's at 435 subs, 133 total videos. Um, hasn't made like a ton of videos this year necessarily, but he's had a real busy year as far as like moving and things like that go. So um, PSA... Cross Grades is his number one video. It has almost 4,000 views. Um, things I'd use to describe Dane are generous. Um, he's just sent some amazing care packages out to a lot of different people in the hobby. Um, and he's also generous with his time and effort when he's doing his PSA subs. I know many people have been allowed to piggyback onto his subs. And he's, um, he's just a trustworthy, good person. And uh, a person that would be you'd want to have in the Hall of Fame, quite frankly. Um, and the collection is great itself, high, high quality. You know, we collect a lot of similar things like high grade vintage, high grade uh, Hall of Famers, even some modern stuff as well. Um, so he's a quality over quantity collector and that's a big reason why we resonate together. Um, very helpful as well. Um, again, yeah, Dane is just a, a good dude and a, a good channel. So go check out Cartex 710 Again, he's the last person from last year that I voted for that didn't quite make it, so got my vote again this year. All right, so let's get into the three new channels that I'm going to vote for this time around. Uh, the first one is Amish Dave Archer. Um, dude has been around for a while, 11 years on YouTube making consistent content. And when I mean a lot of content, he has 1,300 videos in 11 years. It's a lot of videos. Um, not all of them are card related necessarily, but even if you'd subtract those away, that is still an insane amount of videos um, in the card world over a long period of time. So 
to me that in its own is very deserving and that really stuck out to me when I when I was looking back at some of these channels. Um, he has 740 subscribers. Um, he does do some live stream stuff. He started over the last year or so um, that kind of has gotten a lot more people engaged in what he's doing on his channel, which is great. Um, number one video is football card sale video he did. It has 12,000 views. Um, and words I would use to describe Dave are great variety, which he does. He collects like um, a lot of really... Where I first kind of got with Dave is that uh, we both are lovers of the old school game worn patches from like the early 2000s to mid 2000s and um, especially football cards uh, in that regard. But um, he has a great variety of stuff. He collects um, all the sports, great variety. Um, he is from the northern Minnesota uh, wasteland of snow and cold, way the heck up there. So I, being a Wisconsinite, I definitely appreciate that. Um, he's very unique. Um, he's unapologetic. He's just unapologetically Dave. So um, that's who he is. He's very comfortable in his own skin. Um, this is what you see is what you get with him. If you don't like it, F off. If you do like it, great. Um, I think he's a great guy. And he's been around a long time and deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Um, and I also have Opinionated on the list, which we all know he's very opinionated, but that's okay. And uh, Consistent. You have to be consistent when you make 1,300 videos over 11 years. So, um, Amish Dave Archer gets my vote for this year's Hall of Fame. Um, let's see, I got two left to go here. Number nine, Brad8671. Um, was really cool, got to meet Brad at the National this year for the first time. Um, been watching his stuff and talking back and forth for a couple years before that, but. Um, I think this was his first national actually ever, so everybody was kind of curious if Brad actually exists, and he does, I'm happy to say. 754 subs, 461 videos over nine years. Again, we're talking about consistency over a long period of time. Um, you know, his number one video is just a, a big hit he got out of an Allen and Gintner box and has about 900 plus views. So, you know, this isn't like the flash in the pan pan make a quick video to get a bunch of views this is consistency over a long period of time and brad is a true hobbyist kind of like i had for bart in that you know he collects his dolphins and he collects dan marino stuff um zach thomas uh you know just dolphin stuff right like he's very focused in that regard um, he's not in it for the flip, necessarily. He's just collecting his team, his stuff, just uh, carving away at it over a long period of time. And, you know, being sort of a collector like that myself, I really appreciate that and really grasp onto that. Um, um, his videos, he's a very conversational. He talks about just the nature of sports in general, the nature of his teams, which I also like and can also relate to. Um, he's very generous, known for sending care packages throughout the community known as Bradley Claus. So again, um, that generosity in the community is a huge deal. Um, the positivity, I just love it. And so that is another big reason why I'm nominating Brad. And again, got to meet him this year at the NSCC so I can prove that he is a real person. So Brad, number nine on my list. Uh, my last vote um, is gonna go to a guy whose channel I watch all the time, kind of watch all his videos. Um, and he's been doing this for a while, over 10 years as well. So another guy that's been doing this a long time. And that is Joey Birdcat 8 430 subs. Again, 397 videos over that time is a lot of videos. Um, again, you're not going to get some big high view count and stuff. He's not, he doesn't do like all these like intriguing like uh, videos or like... Uh, videos that you know are dram dramatic that are going to get a lot of views that's not necessarily how he rolls um his video his number one video is just my story and it has 400 views just talking about who he is as a collector um words i'd use to describe joey are focused obviously he's a bart star super collector so um he's got several hundred bart star autographs one of the best bart star collections i've ever seen um and you know he's quality over quantity again i love that so he doesn't mind going a little while without picking up something, and then he will pick up something very nice when he does pick something up. Um, 
when you get to be kind of an uh, elite level collector like that, you, you're not just buying the next thing that comes across your screen. You are waiting, 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 and you may only buy one thing every couple weeks or couple months. It just, that's how it goes when you get to that point of collecting. Um, so I love kind of following along with his Bart Star journey. Um, also, he, do, he does the Hall of Fame uh, spe Spectra, is it Spectra? The Panini Hall of Fame set with the on-card autographs of the NFL Hall of Famers. Um, that's kind of been fun to follow. And a lot like Amish Dave, uh, Joey is very comfortable in his own skin. Uh, I don't think he pretends to be somebody that he's not. He just is who he is. He, he's comfortable making the kinds of videos that he likes to make. Um, he doesn't do things necessarily because you want him to do them. He does his own thing, and I, I love that about him. So, Birdcat8, my final nominee into the YouTube Hall of Fame of 2022. Um, so last but not least, being a current Hall of Famer, I do get to vote for the Lifetime Achievement Award, and I'm going to vote for the same person I voted for last year, and that's Troy, Packers Corner. Um, man, he's got some great videos. He made videos from about 11 years ago to about 5 years ago, so a 6 year period where he was kind of like the pa one of the, the Packer channels on YouTube, and he hasn't made a video in 5 years, but... Um, he's got some very important videos, like especially when PSA was first getting very popular out there. He has some of the very first videos about how to send cards to PSA, what to look for uh, before you send your cards in. And uh, like, so his sending to cards to PSA video has like over 150,000 views. Um, he actually has a video uh, called Bike Spokes, sounding like a Harley when you have cards in the bike spokes. Um, and that has over 300,000 views. So. Um, he's got some very interesting videos, um, and he certainly helped me out a lot in the beginning when I first started sending the PSA, and though he was the first guy that I watched in that regard, and I think Troy Packer's Corner deserves to be the Lifetime Achievement Award. And then the Good Guy Award, uh, the Joe Ryan Fan Award, I'm going to go with uh, Josh, Impact Player. Um, many of you probably know Josh and are aware that I mean, he probably, I don't think he's made a video for about a year, but that doesn't stop him from watching your videos and commenting on your videos. Um, and you know when Josh comments on one of your videos, it's kind of like you get like three sentences or a paragraph on your video. You don't just get a, hey, that's cool, or good job. And obviously a lot of us have time constraints and things like that, and that's all we can write. But Josh will type in like a whole paragraph about what he thinks of your video, and that's just the kind of person he is. And... Um, certainly would deserve the good guy award because he's a great guy. Um, I don't. Th I think he's really busy with kids and sports, and I can certainly relate to that as well. Um, so you don't get a lot of extra time on your hands. But man, I just love what Josh Impact Player does for the hobby. He's also sent out just some killer care packages in the past to other people just because he wants to, not necessarily to garner, uh, you know, people to his own channel. Just because he wants to do it, and I can't think of a better person for that award. Um, so that is it. Um, I encourage everybody to take part and vote in the 2022 Sports Card YouTube Hall of Fame. It's a great time of year. You get to like learn about all these different channels out there. And man, it's just a good time. One of my favorite times of year. So with that being said, hopefully you guys all enjoy the channel. We will talk to you again soon. That's it. Enjoy your weekend.